scattered among the beautiful attractions of Philippines are these terrifying haunts no sane person would ever venture into. But are you brave enough? Brace yourself for strange temperature shifts, unexplainable wails, and possibly a shadow of a white-veiled lady staring down at you. Number 1. Berlati Drive This famous two-lane street in Quezon City is believed to be the haunted by a white-veiled lady who frequents in the site. The tree line road adds an airy feeling as if something will appear in front of you at any time. It was told that the white-veiled lady is the ghost of a girl who died in a car accident in the area when she lost her way, which is why she has been trying to hitch a ride and find her way home. Rumor or not, you better not drive by Bagalati Drive alone. Number 2. The Red House. This house was named from the hue that it exudes, which is as red as blood and rust. It is believed that this ancestral house was the place where women were held captive during the Japanese era and where they eventually died during their stay. This is the reason why some visitors believe that the red hue of the house might be the blood that flowed within the vicinity, tainting it forever. Wailing sounds, screams, and temperature shifts, as well as the ghastly feeling of someone looking from behind your back, are some of the most commonly shared experiences. Number 3. Clark Air Base Hospital. Hospitals are known to be generally scary, considering that many people do die here. However, this abandoned hospital in Clark Air Base is noted as one of the scariest hospital. It was featured in a National Geographic documentary in 2013. Hundreds of stories have been associated with this medical complex because of its history and the spine-tingling vibe that you'll feel the moment you enter the premises. Visiting this place during the day is already scary enough, what more in dark time, just imagine the haunting feeling after light. Number 4. Laparel House. It was built in 1920. The Laparel House was turned over to another owner after the death of the head of the Laparel clan. Prior to the transfer of ownership, the house has been the silent witness to brutal killings, rape, and violence. Just like the Red House, it served as a den for the Japanese forces during the war. The blood-curdling screams and the dreadful stillness cemented the reputation of this house as one of the scariest in the country. Number 5. Malinta Tunnel. The historic Corregidor hosts some of the most haunted places in the Philippines. Thanks to its bloody history that stretches through the World War II, some of the places here managed to fill up the spots in the most scariest places in the world. The Malinta Tunnel is one of the eeriest places in the island. Like any other tunnels it can give you an uneasy feeling of being confined, this tunnel is one of the places in the island where lots of soldiers died. Shadows, unexplainable noises, and even sudden drafts as well as temperature changes have been reported to manifest here. Number 6. Teacher's Camp. The Teacher's Camp in Biguia City is still functional until now, serving as the accommodation of choice for teacher training and other corporate engagements. The cottages and rooms here have been reported to be haunted, and a lot of horror stories had spread through word of mouth. Footsteps late at night, famed wailing, and unusual shadows have been some of the common things that can be experienced here. If you choose this as a place to stay for the night, I'm not sure if you can have a restful sleep. Number 7. Hospital Ruins in Caracador. We continue our list with another abandoned hospital, this time in Corregidor Island. There are a lot of images available on the internet that can give you that chills just by looking at them, you can just imagine being there yourself. The worn and damaged walls that separate the areas of the hospital will keep your heart racing because you don't have any idea about what is waiting for you on the other side. This has been the refuge of wounded soldiers, many of whom unfortunately perished. There are also added stories in recent history that the ruins have become the quarters of specially trained soldiers 